this clip will bless your life so much and i assure you that don't skip any make sure you listen to it to the end how to overcome the sexual immorality by apostle apostle joshua Seman and apostle michael Elobo. all right over to you sirs usual degree are we together this desire that god put generally everything god gives man he gives you power and control over whatever seems to go beyond your control has been empowered by another spirit are we together now so the way the devil pushes once you are unmarried without a spouse he will amplify to an unusual degree and I, there may be biological explanations i don't downplay you know research of medicine we're not discussing medicine now this is from a spiritual standpoint i know there are things like hormonal imbalance and the rest i don't want to go into those discussions are we together but that generally speaking he will amplify that desire beyond the control of an individual and if not protected by wisdom revelation and some of these keys i will show you you will find out that you will be a victim and then the moment you get married he will now flip flip the uh, the side of the coin by taking away that desire so you find out that you can see two people who sometimes are in a hurry to get married because they think they don't they want to keep themselves and then they get married statistics will tell us counselors and even men of god will tell you that sometimes once it happens you find out that that desire seems to just evaporate and vanish it is all the structure of this spirit beyond just sexual immorality there are other expressions of immorality pornography masturbation all kinds of perversions sexual immorality may be the major issue but there are many others you see the thing about the thing about sexual immorality is that it is it requires a number of conditions for that to happen number one it is atmosphere dependent number two you will need the mutual consent of the parties involved but for things like pornography and masturbation these things do not need this all these extra things so there are many people who for some reason have been able to survive sexual immorality but pornography masturbation and a lot of other bodily vices do you know the bible says a man that looks at a woman to lust after her in the mind of the spirit he has already committed immorality so there are others who may not physically act it out but as far as god is concerned they are victims because it is a state of perpetual emotional entertainment just like sexual immorality pornography masturbation and so on it does not care whether you are a man of god it does not care whether you are married it does not care whether you are single it does not care whether you are young it does not care whether you are old if left unchecked it will attack and wreck your life is someone learning now so anytime you are under the influence of loss the second heavens is proposing to you that's how they propose they propose through all the dynamics of loss lost of the eyes and you are beholding a damsel and when you close your eyes you are still seeing her it's a proposal that's a spiritual communication it's a traffic it's a transmission coming from the second heavens notice that in jesus's temptation there was a proposal to he followed the same sequence loss of the eyes loss of the flesh pride of life follow the same sequence and then later jesus said that the prince of this world comet he found what nothing in me that means the communication came from the second heavens trying to propose to see if there was anything in me that was compatible with such a pro proposal he found out that i was of one sort one stock and there was nothing of his goods and his products that was compatible with my content i was totally aligned to the kingdom of god that's what it means to be holy separated unto god it is not as if you will not lose you will you will lose a lot sometimes you will fast and lost i know it has not happened to you you are very spiritual we that are trying to grow the symptoms we see on the street is terrible hallelujah but the fact that you lost that is not a challenge no you were just under eh? some proposals were coming that's the implication 
you will not escape that it will come even when you are not it will come but the issue there is whether you subscribe and if you subscribe it means that the second heaven has gained mastery over you that's the creativity that came to him is duba or is duba king if you are under an addiction you are in war it's a warfare if there is anything you can't stop yourself from it's warfare so instead of running around and saying, man of God, please help me, wake up and begin to fight. Paul said, sin shall no longer have dominion over me. He said, I beat my body and I bring it under subjection. So when that thing comes, I go on my knees. I will pray until the feeling dies. Because when I'm praying, I'm energizing the Holy Ghost. I know I'm feeling like having sex. But when that feeling comes, instead of me start crying, I go to my room, I lock the door. When I fire for a while, the whole motion of sin will go down. That's what it means to beat your body. I bring it under subjection. It's internal warfare. The spirit is manipulating me to talk against you. When I see you, I say I love you. In my room, I say I love you. 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 I will say it until even when I want to say something against you, I will say I love you. See, shall no longer have dominion. He said, I made a covenant with my eyes that I will not look upon the virgins. Sometimes I carry my phone. I say, Is this Facebook? I uninstall. Is this Instagram? I uninstall. Is this WhatsApp? I uninstall. Most times when I'm uninstalling like that, the devil will now tell me, somebody may send me a message. You were chatting with this prophet the other time. What if he sends a message? I say, I'd rather save my soul than build relationship with the prophet. I will uninstall it. If after one month it doesn't come back, so be it. Sometimes I discover my phone is getting too close to me. I now just carry it like this. I off it. And then I keep it. And then I'll say, I'll carry it after one week. Sometimes I will just dump the phone. People will call you and say, you are not picking your car. All these men of God are so proud. It's not pride, sir. We are saving our soul. You don't know it's warfare. That's why you come. They say, I'm struggling with masturbation. They pray for you. The moment they finish praying, as you are leaving the prayer room, you are on TikTok. You are on Facebook and you are watching pictures and you think the addiction will end. No, it will not end. Because that warfare is not a demon. That warfare is spiritual intelligence wired into your soul structure by spiritual systems. Hope you